today's rhema word is taken from Isaiah 58 and verse 11. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. You will be a well-watered garden. Do you see the things around me? Do you see this beautiful place with all the flora and fauna? I am so happy because this is a garden. There has been a gardener who has been watering this wonderful place. And that is why there are fruits, there are flowers and there's a bloom. Today the Lord says, I'm going to make you a watered garden. You are not a wilderness, but you are going to be a watered garden. Water is the elixir of life. We have learned it in our school days. Water brings prosperity. Water brings uh, greenery. Where there is water, there is a blessing. Today the Lord says, I am the water of life. I am the living water and I'm going to water your garden. You will be a well-watered garden. You will be a blessed house. Your family, your business, your relationships are going to be watered by God. And it is going to be a garden for the Lord. You will be a spring whose waters never fail. What is the difference between a pond and a spring? Pond collects the water from the rain of yesterdays and keeps it there. It is not fresh. But the spring every day produces new water. Have you heard about the Kaveri River? Do you know where it is uh, formed? It is not from the rain, it is from the ground. There is a place called Talai Kaveri in Karnataka above Kurg. It is a small spring, that which comes from the ground, fresh water. That small spring becomes a big river going all the way, passing through the states and going to the Bay of Bengal. Can you imagine? A small spring watering so many fields of wheat and rice and giving flourishing blessing to so many places. Today God is going to turn you into a spring of water whose waters never fail. Sunday, Monday, January to December, your waters, your blessing will not fail. What does spring signify according to the Bible? Your salvation. Your salvation is a spring of water. Jesus said, he who is thirsty, come to me. I am going to give you the living waters from the spring. If you are saved, if you are forgiven of your sins, your life will be a watered garden. Turn to Jesus today. Let's leave all our sinful nature and turn to Christ and become a watered garden. He is waiting to make you a flourishing blessing. Have a wonderful day. God bless you abundantly. Amen. Amen.